Hi, my name is Glenn Alexander Thompson. Now, my normal voice is a slow Aussie drawl, so for narration, I am using a computer-generated voice that speaks far faster than me. Now, a little later in this video, I provide links to further videos that demonstrate that, in Victoria, Australia, court-based corruption, including judicial corruption, is rampant, out of control and unchecked. Now, the reason why corruption is rampant, is that the overtly corrupt lawyers and judges are self-assured that their purportedly honorable fellow judges and lawyers will sit silently and do nothing, and thereby effectively conceal, and deny their, in fact, criminal conduct. Now, I will demonstrate the assured silence and inaction. On the screen now is a photograph of Julian Burnside, AO, QC. Now, as any well-informed Australian would know, Julian Burnside is probably one of Australia's most recognizable and respected barristers. Now, back in 2015, with great particularity, I referred court-based and judicial corruption to Julian Burnside. In my covering letter to him, I pointed out that I was looking for a person of standing who has the courage and integrity to stand against and expose the corrupt conduct. I also said to the effect that, his personal conscience would determine if he was such a person and that nothing I could say or do would influence that. Julian Burnside responded with the letter which is on the screen now. Now, of significance, Julian Burnside failed and refused to stand against the corruption abundantly evinced to him. Of significance, he said that like most Victorian senior barristers he knew all of the judges and lawyers mentioned by me and that he was good friends with a number of them. He then said that his friendship would leave him in a position of personal embarrassment if he was to take any action in relation to my allegations. He also said that I should refer my allegations to interstate barristers. So, in a nutshell, Julian Burnside refused to stand against corruption because he was friends with the corrupt judges and lawyers. On the screen now is a photograph of another senior Victorian barrister, Michael Fleming QC. Fleming responded with a handwritten note on the top of the covering letter which I sent to him. That note said to the effect that corruption was not an area of law which he practices in. That purported excuse was garbage. The simple fact was that Fleming did not have the courage or integrity to stand against the corruption events to him. Okay, now on the screen now is a photograph of the Victorian barrister Pierre Testar. Now, Testar's response to my evidence of corruption is set out in the email that is on the screen now. A close-up of the text is overlaid. As you can see he said, don't ever write to me again. If you do, I'll take the necessary steps to make sure you suffer all the adverse consequences I can bring to bear against you. So that little worm of a man, who claims to be a human rights lawyer, threatened me with legal or other violence for referring evidence of court-based corruption to him. As you can see, I'm less than terrified by him. Okay, on the screen now is a photograph of the chief judge of the family court, William Alstergren. While a mere barrister his response was to merely acknowledge receipt of my material and to do nothing. Naturally, immediately upon publication, I will provide each of the aforementioned people with a link to this video. In addition, by email, I referred material to approximately 1800 Victorian barristers with a published email address. A full list of those 1800 barristers is on my website, courtsontrial.com. Each and every one of them chose to remain silent. Now, the obvious problem is that barristers like this grow up to become judges and all present judges were once barristers, probably of identical mindset. So, it is little wonder, and entirely predictable, that court-based corruption is rampant. The perpetrators are assured of a free ride with no consequences. My extensive efforts to have authoritative people such as barristers act to expose court corruption have now extended over a period of 11 years and have come to naught. During that time, I have also written to each and every from time to time, Victorian Supreme Court and Court of Appeal judge, and, not surprisingly, they also did nothing. On the face of it, the Victorian so-called justice system, is a gravy train for corrupt lawyers and their apologist lawyers. It appears that the most important thing for Victorian judges is the semblance or pretense of justice rather than justice itself. By their collective silence and inaction, the barristers and judges of Victoria provide the circumstance where the corrupt judges and lawyers are protected and ongoing court-based corruption is therefore assured. I have now determined that I am going to do my best to put an end to the rampant Victorian court-based fraud and I will succeed. Sure I'm going to accumulate a lot of powerful enemies, however as an old Irish friend once said. Faint heart never won fair lady. I am regularly told that I am soft-hearted but I have never been accused of faint heart. I have therefore determined to attempt to force the various judges of Victoria to, individually or collectively, reluctantly stand up. My plan is to bring public shame on the various individual Victorian judges who are seen to do nothing when the fact of overt court-based fraud and corruption is placed squarely under their noses. For that purpose, 
I have recently prepared two videos that sufficiently set out ineluctable evidence of high crime and corruption in Victorian courts. I have also selected a third video which I prepared about a year ago. That third video demonstrates that over a period of 40 years the Macedon Ranges Shire Council was engaged in serious property and rate fraud and that in 2009 the council and its overtly corrupt lawyers used the court as a tool of fraud to conceal those things and to obtain a fraudulent judgment. That third video is unique because it contains the original court recorded audio of the in fact fraudulent hearing. A link to each of those videos is contained in the description to this video. They are also sequentially linked at the end of this video. Now to start the ball rolling. Concurrent with publishing this video an email setting out my plan and a link to this video will be sent to each and every Victorian, Supreme Court, Court of Appeal, and County Court Judge and their respective associates. That email will squarely place sufficient evidence of overt court-based fraud under the noses of each of those judges and their respective associates. It is of course up to them as to whether or not they view the videos or choose to remain willfully ignorant and allow the corruption to continue. I anticipate that the courts and the judges will seek to simply ignore me until I fall off the perch, However, I think that I can make that impossible by regularly publishing new videos that specifically name individual judges and point out the fact that those individual judges have failed and refused to stand against court-based corruption which was placed under their nose. By posting such videos I think that I can make it intolerable for the court and the individual judges to publicly be seen to be ignoring court-based corruption. A further possibility is that the judges may seek to prosecute and incarcerate me however I am well aware that I am wagering my ineluctable facts against their awesome power. I am forced to make this stand because no one else will. While I fear the awesome power of the Victorian judges the prospect of living with myself while doing nothing is far more daunting and fearsome. Now finally, to my layperson, non-lawyer viewers, if you think that you are possessed of a social conscience, then I ask that you view the videos which are linked below, and at the end of this video, and if you then believe that they do contain evidence of court corruption then you can do your bid in securing a democracy governed by rule of law instead of corruption. You can do your bit by liking and sharing this and the other videos on all social platforms and by subscribing to my YouTube channel. Every instance of public awareness helps. Until I succeed no one can have any confidence in any Victorian court. Okay, the end. We shall see.